My cats love it when I film. They just want to be on camera the whole time. Look, there's a kitty. There's a kitty in this video. You won't see her throughout the whole video, but just rest assured, she's here. Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel Mooney Reads where I talk about book and things. And today we're going to talk all about Dark Academia. Now this is actually a Dark Academia book recommendation as you saw in the title. But I wanted to stop for a moment and just talk about what exactly is Dark Academia. I feel the term gets thrown around a lot on booktube and on Twitter and on Instagram and everywhere and honestly a lot of the times it's kind of like a, this broad general thing and you kind of have to stop for a moment and think what actually are these people talking about so i'm going to tell you what i think dark academia is before we jump into the suggestions i'm going to put a timestamp somewhere around here to let you know when you can just jump to the suggestions if you're only interested in that and don't want to know what i have to say about dark academia itself as the name itself would suggest dark academia focuses on characters that are either academic prodigies are excellent or are striving to be excellent but most often what we find is characters that don't believe themselves to be excellent even though they've proven time and time again that they are incredible at whatever it is that they do usually there's a focus on the arts so you would see like with um if we were villains there's shakespeare with donna tart i believe it's the liberal arts and everything but there's also scientific study so it doesn't really matter where you fall in the spectrum of academia as long as there is like a focus on either being the best or not believing yourself to be the best even though you have achieved greatness then you are talking about a dark academia book another thing that these characters tend to throw around is the idea that academics and academic excellency goes above and beyond anything else it goes above friendships it goes above love it goes above everything in their lives they will sacrifice anything to get to that place where they believe they should be and that also involves a lot of violence sometimes as you have seen in novels like vicious by v schwab which is considered a dark academic novel now that being said just because it's called dark academia it doesn't mean that it has to be focused in a school some novels are but a lot of the times novels that are considered dark academic are not focused on schools they can be focused on what happens after school it can be focused on going back to school it can be focused on people that have emerged from schools as great prodigies or great at their fields it doesn't have to be focused in a school however of course there is a big focus on schools of course on very elitist schools and secret societies which is one of my favorite parts there's a lot of focus on secret societies and being good enough to get into one or being good enough to get into little groups of people that are the best at what they do so dark academia also focuses a lot on the gothic including the writing style and the aesthetic of the characters within it you're gonna see a lot of tweet a lot of black a lot of brown a lot of gray and you're gonna see that writing style so typical of the gothic period which is a little bit more i hate to say elevated because if it was but you know it's dark academia the writing style tends to be a little bit on the <laughs> sat word level if you know what i mean <laughs> all right and finally, we have that it focuses on the genres of tragedy and satire. We are, obviously, there's always a tragedy because the search for greatness, the search for excellency outweighs anything else. And satire, because there's a lot of debauchery and there's a lot of, like, even we are the best of the best, but we're also a mess, which, who doesn't love a mess? All right. I hope that I could shed some light for you if you have no idea or if you had like a vague idea of what Dark Academia was. But now let's get into the meat of the video, which is the book recommendations of dark academic books that you might not have considered before. And no, I promise I won't mention Donna Tartt or ML Rio. The first book recommendation I have is The Magician by Lev Grossman. Now, you remember everything I talked about before? It's all in this book but then includes some magic in it because the characters in these books are actually magicians. 
as the title would tell you. <laughs> the story focuses mainly on Quentin, who is the stereotypical uh, dark academic main character who is this guy that is amazing and proves time and time again how powerful he is and yet he always feels that he falls behind everyone else even though quite the contrary is usually what happens. The book also touches on the idea of segregating yourself into houses, kind of like Hogwarts, but not in the way that you expect. And in fact, the best way I can describe this book is Hogwarts with dark academia in it. Imagine like Hogwarts and take everything you love about it, all the whimsy and stuff, and then strip it away, not gently, but harshly, and then sprinkle cocaine on it, sex, and possibly murder. And that is the magicians for you and I absolutely love it. I consider the whole trilogy to be Dark Academia, but definitely the first book because mm, I think half of it more or less focuses on a school and it does touch on that whole secret society houses sort of thing. So I really love it. And just so you know, I know there's a TV show on it and I want you all to just ignore that the TV show exists and go into the book. I only saw two or three episodes of the TV show, but it definitely doesn't hold up to the book as far as I'm concerned. The next dark academic book that I would love for you to pick up is The Magic for Liars by Sarah Gailey or Geely. I'm not sure, but there you go. This book focuses around magic again and magical schools and the search for magical excellency above all. But the interesting thing is this book is told from the perspective of a sister of somebody who is magical, yet she is not and yet she is the one that is called to help solve a murder at the school. The murder, I think, takes second place to the emotional aspects of what happens during the investigation. It also touches on the idea that no matter how magical you are, you are still just human. And is there anything more dark academic than taking magic and bringing it down to a level where it's just another thing humans can do? So how far can you push it? I love this book. This is probably going to be in my top 10 books that I've read this year. And the last dark academic book I want to recommend and possibly one of my favorite books of all time is The Monstermologist by Rick Yancey. Now in this case, we don't follow anybody at a school, but we follow a scientist, part of a secret society of scientists that studies monsters. Except the monsters in these novels are not actually magical or like supernatural beings. They're just normal biological creatures that have inspired people due to their monstrosity to write myths about them. Or are they actually supernatural? This book follows Pelinor Wathrop, which is an, like on the other side of the spectrum as far as Dark Academia characters go because he knows he's the best. Because he spent his whole life devoted to being the best. He doesn't eat, he doesn't sleep, he doesn't have friends. He sacrifices everything in his life in order to achieve greatness. And that's what makes this book great for this genre. There's also, of course, it starts with a murder. And one thing I want to say, this book is really graphic from the get-go. There's a lot of like blood and guts and stuff like that. So if that's not your jam, then maybe this is not the book for you. But if it is, then totally pick it up because it's amazing. This is a series, the whole series is Dark Academia. And the final book, I won't spoil it obviously, but if there was ever anything dark academia in the world, that final book gives you like the top of the top of it. This book is also told not from the perspective of Pelnor Wathrop, the main character, but actually from his assistant who is quite the contrary from Pelinor. And he just happened to fall into this crazy world of this madman that <laughs> is constantly trying to destroy him. <laughs> I think. And if you like the gothic aspect of Dark Academia, then this book is definitely for you because this is like the most gothic based of the bunch, not only in the writing style, but it's based in like, I think around the 1900s. I can't remember very well, but if you like that stuff, this book's got it all and you should definitely pick it up. And that's it. Those are my three Dark Academia books that you might not have thought about before as part of the genre that you could definitely pick up now that spring is coming because who says that you can't read dark academia in spring in fact i think it's the perfect time to read it 
that's it for this video I must admit that it was really hard to film in the beginning I didn't enjoy it at all putting that whole like my take on dark academia because I could be totally off and if that's not what dark academia means to you uh, don't worry in the end we're just reading for fun so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for coming back to my videos I now have decided to stick to a video schedule which I have been sticking to from the beginning but I didn't want to like Say it so I am posting videos every Monday Wednesdays and Fridays and then sometimes if I have time I'll put a little bit of an extra video like this one because I wanted to get it up as soon as possible because I'm so excited about it as always it's been great talking to you guys don't forget to give this video a like don't forget to subscribe and please let me know down below what your favorite dark academia book is so that I can pick it up and read it alongside with you and as for me I'll see you next time bye guys this flower is driving me crazy <laughs> we, we're gonna have to look for another place for this flower because this is just not working out